So now that I've been recording for a little while, I'm going to run a data query on the data that's been recorded so far. So you can actually leave this recording, it doesn't matter, and we're going to expand data recording and select data query. In the data query window, what we want to do first is we want to select the databases that we want to query. Um, this is everything that I've recorded in this project, so I have some extra things in here, but I'm, I'm just going to check the Archive 3 test and click on Apply. And you'll see that it automatically pulls up the date range. So that's when I started recording. It's in UTC time, and that's up till right now. And I have everything available that I've recorded. So you can check mark what you want. Um, whatever you check mark is going to be available down here to run the query. So if you had vehicles, devices, everything checked off, and let's say you just wanted to run a query on devices, you would uncheck everything else and just leave the devices checked. But since I only have vehicles, I'm going to check the vehicles. So now that we have our dates and time selected for the query and I have my vehicle selected. We go down here and this is all the available data on that vehicle that I can run the query on. So I'm going to check the or select the GO2D and I'm going to move that over to the right and you can set up your formatting however you'd like and I'm going to click on OK and I'm also going to grab the heading and I'll move that over to the right and click on OK. So we're going to apply that and there's a couple other options in here that you can do. When you have your query all set up, if you want you can click this export button up here and save it somewhere on your computer. And then the next time you have to run a query, instead of having to set all this stuff up and, and reformat everything, you can just import that file and all your settings will be there and it will be ready to, to run the query. We also have the query control. You have three options here, selected data source, fixed interval, and minimum interval. And basically what this does is just setting up your, your timing for querying the data. So if we select the it based off data source, then we'll have the option of Geo2D or heading because that's what we have selected over here. So if we selected Geo2D, the timestamps on this particular query are going to be related to the position. We'll still get the heading, but the, the timing is going to be based off of that specific point in time in relation to the, head, uh, the position. If we selected fixed interval, we could just come up with an interval here and the, the data will populate itself when you run the query. So even though our down sample size is, is 15 seconds, you can still select something that's less than that value. Um, let's say your down sample size was 15 seconds and for this particular query you only wanted to pull the data every 30 seconds. You could do that as well and apply the settings and, and run the query. And the last setting you have is, is minimum interval. And this is based off the same principle as fixed interval but in addition to the selected interval you can select the data source so the timing is going to be based off the start of this GO2D position in that point of time and then after that the selected interval is going to apply so to run this query I'm just going to do selected data source and we'll use GO2D I'm going to apply the, the changes and run the query. And here's all of our data. So I've got the, the position for my, my vehicle with all the timestamps. And my heading zero, but that's just because 
and that's the way I have it set up on the simulator. Um, so you can view the data in here and close the results when you're done and you also have a couple other options here you can copy all this position data to create a flow line umbilical or a waypoint and you can also export all this data to a CSV so I'll just name this test and save that and here's all the data